In this video, I'm going to show you three ways that you can organize your Google Drive. The first tip is that no matter what's re uh, shared with you, regardless of the type of resource, if you want to keep it and you want to organize it, you need to add it to your drive. Now, a lot of people look through the shared with me section on their drive to look for their things. That's not a, a good way to do it. Uh, that stream is going to get filled up with a lot of stuff and it's going to take forever to find things that you need. So when someone shares something with you, you need to add it to your drive. Now, the simplest way to do that is when someone sends you a, an email notification through Gmail, you can open the document there and then file it right away if it's something that you need. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. Okay, so you see in my email that I had a notification that this document was shared with me from my other account. So if I open this document, it's going to open that file in my Google Drive. And then to the top right next to where the title is, there's going to be an Add to Drive icon. And when you click that button, not only does it add it to your Google Drive and get out of that shared with me section, uh, but it's also in a way for you to file it in any type of folder you want. So if I click on this Add to Drive button here, now I know it's added to my drive and I can organize it into any folder that I want. Now the other nice thing is say I want to create a new folder for these new resources, then I can also click this button here on the bottom, create a new folder and then add it to that as well. So that's one way that you can do it. Now if you can't find that Gmail notification or if you never got one for some reason and you still want to see what was recently shared with you, then you can go into that shared with me stream even though it's not the best way to find your stuff, uh, you may need to go into there to find it. So for instance, um, here's a, uh, a file that was shared with me uh, earlier today from my other account. And when I select it, you're going to see on the top right here, there's an add to drive button. So again, as soon as you find that file that you want to keep, click this add to drive button and then organize it and put it wherever you'd like. So now it'll still show up in that shared with me stream, but you're not going to have to look there anymore. You just go to the folder that you added that to. Now there's another way you can add things to your drive if it's shared with you via a link or something uh, that's in the preview pane. So this is an example of a PDF that I opened that was shared with me through a link. On the top of this preview area, you'll see the add to drive button is there as well. So if I want to save this PDF into my drive, I would click there in the same process, I can organize it wherever I'd like in my drive. Now the second tip is you can actually add folders and resources to multiple folders at once without having to make a copy of it. So for instance, if you have a curriculum document that wants to be in, say, a departmental folder, but also a school-based folder, you don't have to make a copy of it and drag it into two different places. You can actually add that same file to multiple spots so that when you make an edit to one, it makes an edit to all of them, regardless of what folder it's in. So to do that, you would click on the folder that you'd want to add to another place, and then hit Shift-Z. So Shift-Z will bring up this menu and you would navigate to where you want to add this to. And then once you choose a folder, you would click this add button at the bottom here, and then it would add to those multiple places. Now one tip though is if you add it to those multiple places and then remove it from your drive, it's also going to remove it from all of those multiple places. So just be careful about uh, where you want to file those things, but it is a great tool to add to multiple folders without having to go through the process of making a copy of all of them. Now the last tip is a simple one, but it does help people organize their things visually, and that's to add a color to a folder. So to do that, you just select a folder that you'd like to add a color to, right click on it, and then there will be a change color uh, selection, and you can choose whatever color you'd like. Relatively simple thing, but it could help you organize your, uh, your resources and color code it if you'd like for yourself, or if you're sharing out resources with your students. Thanks, and I hope that helps.